Okay, well I'm doing a test here of the old uh, iPad 2. <laughs> yes, it is I, Father Francesco here. I'm going to put on some lights. Um, the camera quality, I have to say, this is the front-facing camera. And, well, to be honest, there's my hand going in front of me, little uh, alpha, alpha white there, you know, alpha white. <laughs> um, okay, well, the video recording quality, I mean, let's face it, um, is it, uh, is it HD quality? Well, not really, obviously it's not. Um, but, um, I will say that it's not bad. I mean, when you stop and think, you got to stop and think. Again, I'm not trying to make excuses for um, the iPad being maybe lackluster. I mean, I mean, I think sometimes we, we kind of expect our gadgets to just be overwhelming on every, you know, update. Um, certainly, if you compare the reality of, okay, three years ago, when I started doing YouTube videos, um, you know, I had a little uh, standard definition camcorder, you know, and I would have to say that uh, in the right light, uh, it would probably do a pretty good job. And uh, but here I am, I'm just holding a device, a device that doesn't use tape, uh, a device that doesn't use discs, uh, basically a device that uh, records, you know, standard definition video on its own. Okay, now. Uh, we put a little bit of light on there. Now we see a little bit better clarity. Look at that. Again, it's it's how you light the these obviously how you light the subject, uh, and um, so there's a little bit more clarity coming in now on this uh, on this recording. Uh, so the thing is that it, it sounds like maybe you know kind of like well I'm trying to make excuses for the fact that the iPad 2 doesn't have you know quote unquote HD cameras. Well. Not necessarily. But what I am guess I'm trying to say is that technology in just the last few years uh, is kind of still pretty amazing when you stop and consider that, you know, three years ago, uh, you needed to have at least a, a fairly decent camera just to take uh, an image like this with some clarity. Um, and now it's just, you know, hold it in your hand and, you know, Bob's your uncle, you know. Uh, so, again, it's not... Uh, you know, it's you know, it's it's not a professional, uh, but certainly it has uh, enough clarity where you can upload it to YouTube. Let's say you just want to do just a basic video blog. This would be an excellent device to have. So, again, I'm reasonably happy with uh, my purchase. And again, I know some people uh, criticize, you know, saying, "Oh, you shouldn't have, you know, wasted all your money on something that didn't have, you know." high definition camera as well you know um, if you want to use caveat mTOR and say you know buyer beware okay fine you go ahead and do that uh, I'm perfectly um, satisfied with my choice my purchase um, but again I don't I guess you have to be realistic and in, in, you know looking at the technology that you buy because sometimes I think we have a tendency, especially with Apple, because Apple does make some very fine uh, products. That's just the way, that's the nature of the company. Um, the design, you know, the uh, uh, styling, if you, I mean, styling is not really um, something that they add to their products. I think it just, it's, it, it naturally flows from the functionality of the products. Um, again, this is a, is a very excellent product. I have no complaints. Um, again, is it limited in some of the things that it can do compared to a laptop, compared to a desktop? Well, of course, it's not meant to be a true uh, tablet PC. You know, uh, it's moving in that direction certainly, and it can start. It's starting to take on some functionality uh, that just even what nine months ago you couldn't do. Now you can actually uh, record videos, do some editing. It's not. It's not a full version of iMovie uh, by any stretch of the imagination. And you can do some uh, editing in um, 
a garage band. Uh, but again, it's not intended to certainly do that. Now, is it disappointing in some ways? Well, you know, we Apple, Apple people kind of expect, you know, in some ways I think uh, there is a, maybe a, an, an, an innate understanding that, okay, you know, GarageBand is going to be GarageBand, you know, whether it's on the iMac, the iPad. Um, of course, they don't have GarageBand for the iPhone. <laughs> but but I think you get the point. Again, but, but still. Uh, all right, so uh, I understand the limitations. Uh, of the device and uh, you know one is a full-blown program where this one here is just an app which is pretty amazing when you stop and think about it an app can do this okay not bad not bad for an app so that's a little uh, by and by uh, reflection on the iPad 2 uh, and so I hope that uh, maybe uh, my comments might uh, you know help you to make a better decision as you look at buying either the Apple iPad 2 or even the Apple uh, iPad 1. Still, still a great choice. And they make excellent Christmas gifts. Thanks for watching.